Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. I'm in the lactation room right now and I'm just kind of quiet because I think someone is like right outside the door. But um, this is my first pumping break. It's 11 o'clock and I have experienced a drop in my breast milk supply. Zoe is uh, going on seven months now. So I still do want to breastfeed her until I guess a year old. So since I have experienced a decrease in my breast milk supply, I figured that I would record because I know that it's a big problem for women who work full time. So I have a feeling that I'm going to be able to get my milk supply back up. <clears throat> I've, I've done it before. So I'm just going to record as I do that. Okay, first session right at five ounces, which is not too much of a decrease from what I normally get. Normally my first break I'd get like six ounces, but it's one ounce less and my pumping break is later in the day. So you can see how it has decreased, but five ounces, we'll see what I get later. Okay, so I'm done pumping. I'm on my way to lunch now. They gave me like a 45 minute break, which is nice. back in the lactation room I'm still on this like 45 minute break so I got that five ounces at my first break went downstairs and had my lunch and drunk a whole bunch of water really quick have like six or seven more minutes left that's what I'm talking about with being like really opportunistic with my pumping breaks if I have like any gap of time I'll try to use that to pump so maybe I can get like one more ounce while I'm in here. I'll add that to my five and half six. So that's better than nothing, especially when you're trying to get your supply to go back up. Okay, so I'm heading home now. I got Reagan in the back seat. Can you say hi, Reagan? Hi. So I'm gonna go home. I've pumped about six ounces today. I'm gonna try and get maybe I'd predict like four more. So I'll come back later and let you guys know what I get. So I finished pumping and I got four ounces like I thought I would. So we're at 10 ounces. But yeah, I'm filming this video because I know that it's hard like working full time and trying to pump at work. It's so, 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 so easy for your supply to start decreasing shortly after you return to work just because you can't find the opportunity to pump. So I wanted to post this video because I'm not perfect. My supply doesn't stay up at 17 ounces every single day, especially when you um, factor in like you may be stressed one day or maybe you just didn't get a pumping break one day your supply can easily drop. So I just thought I'd post this to help any other moms out there. Please don't be discouraged. Anyways, like it's all right. If your supply drops, just work it back up and you can keep on going. Y'all, my house is a mess right now. I honestly feel like I should make a cleaning video like for the way the living room looks right now. But anyways, I'm going to play with my kids because I just had my coffee and I feel amazing and I want to spend time with them. So I'm just going to go play with them and I will come back when I do my um, pumping session after Zoe falls asleep. And I'll keep going this week until he goes up, 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 back to 17 ounces. So I'm just checking in right now. It's the next day. It's the 25th of September. It's my second day trying to increase my supply and it is working. Yesterday I only got 10 ounces. I ended up not pumping at nighttime because it took Zoe a really long time to go to sleep last night. But anyway, I got 10 yesterday and so far today I have 10 and it's only two o'clock. So uh, when I get home, I should have maybe 14 so I'm imagining I'll go from like 10 to 14 and yesterday at work I had got six at work and the other four at home today I've gotten 10 at work alone so we'll just 
see how it goes but i can already tell that it's definitely increased since yesterday only things that i did different today i had a pretty good breakfast i went downstairs for breakfast today at the here at the hospital and uh, i drank a ton of water i drank two two water bottles on my way in and then like one of those large buy water bottles bai um during my morning break and then another one of those large water bottles um at lunchtime and i also had my lactation cookies so we'll see how it keeps going Okay, now it's Wednesday. I haven't vlogged anything today. I guess I'm just kind of keeping like these little breastfeeding pumping journals, but I took three pumping breaks today. So at work today, I got 13 ounces. So on Monday, I had got 10. Yesterday, I think I got 11. I can't remember. 10 11 today 13 so it's slow, it's going up so i will keep uh vlogging to see how far i can get also a good thing i did today i took my morning pumping break and then i pumped during a um like a gap in between surgeries and now i'm um or i clocked out already like it's the end of my shift and I uh, took another pumping break. So that's three breaks. Um, if there's any other nurses out there wondering like, when can I take my break? You can definitely do that. The break that you're given, your pumping break, you can do lunch and you can do after your shift. You can also do before your shift. That's kind of hard for me because I take my kids to daycare. But um, if, if time permits and you can do before your shift, that's four pumping breaks that you can get in. So try that. Thanks for watching.